Welcome to T Mobile Park. This is T Mobile Park, formerly known as Safeco Field, home of the Seattle Mariners Major League Baseball team. Coming right now is the Sounder Train, which many people take to the game from surrounding cities. Now we're coming up on the home plate entrance, which is located on the corners of Edgar Martinez Drive and Dave Niehaus Way, named after former Mariners player and Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez and former Mariners Hall of Fame broadcaster Dave Niehaus. And here you see the statue of Ken Griffey Jr the first player to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame as a Seattle Mariner. And just down the way towards the right field gate is the second player to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame as a Mariner, Edgar Martinez and real soon, Ichiro Suzuki should be joining them. Now, heading from the home plate gate towards the left field gate, we pass by the wall with many of the current players' pictures. Also along this side is the team store, which can be accessed from outside or inside the stadium. Now we get to the left field gate and the bronze mitt sculpture. Just down this way is the center field gate. But let's come back to that. First, we will go over to the King Street Station and by Lumen Field, where the Seattle Seahawks NFL team plays. Then walk back here to see what it's like to approach the stadium from the opposite side. Here is King Street Station, where the Sounder and other passenger trains from all over the country will drop you off when you arrive in Seattle. And this is Lumen Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks football team. It was built on virtually the exact spot of the Seattle Mariners' old stadium, the Kingdom. And is now, of course, directly across the street from their current stadium, T Mobile Park. Now, I always get to the stadium hours early. So the vendors are just getting set up now. In an hour or two from this time, a bit closer to game time, this street will be bustling. Now we're back where we left off before, at the left field gate walking towards the center field gate, which is where we will go in today. I typically like to go in at the center field gate because it opens a half an hour earlier than any other entrance. Now for this video, I've walked just past the center field gate, so we'll have to backtrack one more time so I can show you the last side of the stadium, which is where the roof is extended out when it's not closed. The trains heading to King Street Station pass right underneath of it. It always looks like a giant UFO to me when it's lit up at night. Now, let's go in the center field gate, shall we? Let's head on in.
Here is one of several pictures we've already passed by of my all-time favorite pitcher, Mariners legend Randy Johnson. Now we pass by the visitor's bullpen first, and now the Mariners bullpen. In addition to getting to see the players hit and catch a little bit, other highlights of going early to batting practice are the chance to catch a baseball and to get autographs of some of the players. Here's Mariners pitcher Logan Gilbert signing autographs for fans in right field. I've filmed this video over the course of numerous games. As you can see, T-Mobile Park has a retractable roof. So on sunny, good weather days, it's an open air stadium. But on the days where it rains, the roof will close and the game can be played without interruption. Here the mascot, the Mariner Moose, greets fans. And now, it's game time. So play ball. Families with small children love to go to the moose den and have their picture taken. These stairs lead up to the Hit It Here Cafe. And over here, you see the statue of Mariners Hall of Fame broadcaster, Dave Niehaus. Now batting is my favorite player, and the man I consider the greatest player in all of baseball for more than a decade now, Mike Trout. Here the Mariners turn a double play on Japanese superstar Shohei Otani. The main concourse goes completely around the stadium with views of the field the entire way so you can be up getting food and still not missing the game. Similar to Climate Pledge Arena, where the Seattle Kraken play, T-Mobile Park also has places where you can just put in your credit card, pick up anything you like, and walk right out with it and it will know what you took and charge you accordingly. Out in center field is a little party deck area where people like to drink alcohol and mingle while they watch the game. They have a DJ going out there as well. Across from this mural of Ken Griffey Jr. sliding in to beat the Yankees in the 1995 ALDS is the Mariners team store. Filled with clothes, hats, and souvenirs of all kinds. Another interesting stop is the Mariners Hall of Fame. which includes Ken Griffey Jr., Edgar Martinez, former manager Lou Pinella, Jay Buhner, Ichiro Suzuki, Not seen here are a few others, such as Alvin Davis and Jamie Moyer. But who doesn't need their picture taken, looking like they're robbing a home run? And here is Dan Wilson, and my favorite pitcher of all time, and the greatest 
pitcher in team history, Randy Johnson, the big unit. Hall of Fame broadcaster Dave Niehaus. Over to some memorabilia from the only perfect game in team history by Felix Hernandez, who will be inducted into the Mariners Hall of Fame later this summer. Here is a ball from the first Mariners game ever played in 1977, and a dugout bench from the Kingdom, where the Mariners played from 1977 until 1999. On the third deck, there's some pretty nice views. You see Lumen Field where the Seahawks play across the way, and Puget Sound over here. There's a place for kids to play catch up here. Sunset always looks beautiful from up here. Looking across Puget Sound, you can even see the Washington State Ferries going and over across the way to downtown Seattle. Here are some oversized postcards. But this is my favorite view. You can see Lumen Field, the skyscrapers of downtown Seattle, the Great Wheel, and even the Space Needle off in the distance. You'll notice there's quite a few empty seats, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's early April, and it's been unusually cold, and these games were on school nights. In a month or two, when the weather gets warmer and school is out, attendance will definitely increase. Also, of course, won't hurt if the Mariners start playing just a little bit better. With the roof open and with the roof closed. These kids are certainly excited, and you can see the glass windows of the Hit It Here Cafe over there in right field. And this foul ball hit into the stands will be another souvenir for a fan. It's time for the seventh inning stretch and take me out to the ball game. Back to the third deck, and the view looks even more beautiful lit up at night. And everybody's happy with a Mariners victory.
Signing out from T-Mobile Park in Seattle.